In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use the Nickel 335 Odd to absolutely bag the Gun Y Off Trips Pats or the U Trips Offense in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, like I said, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button as we upload videos every single day. Now. If you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that our nickel 335 odd defense, I believe, is the best defense in the entire game. We have blitzes that come in with only sending two people, as well as blitzes that will come in by sending six to seven to even eight players at a time at the quarterback. So we're going to be able to get pressure. But not only are we going to be able to get pressure, but we're actually going to be able to have what I believe to be one of the better coverage defenses in the entire game in the fact that the cover six defense this year is really, really, really good. And so I wanted to share with you kind of my setup for it and how I like to use it to slow down the Y off trips pads or the U trips, which I think is actually probably the second best offense in the game this year behind Gun Bunch. And what we're gonna do is we are just going to put the cover six in our audibles. Now this is found in the New York Giants playbook. And again, if you wanna get my defensive guide, the full guide is available down in the description. This is just kind of one little nugget or one little play um, or concept really. But if you want to get the entire uh, defense, like I said, it's available down at the link in the description. You can get it right now for just 15 bucks. All you got to do is go down in the description. There's a website link right there. that will take you right to the guide page. And uh, you just click that and it'll get it all taken care of. So if you want to get access to the guide, really simple, really easy. Um, and that link is down below. Okay, guys. So we're coming out on LB Cross 3 Show 2. And what I like to do is audible over to this cover 6. Now, as you see right here, uh, one of my one of my things that I really like to do, um, specifically against U trips, okay, specifically against U trips, is I like to bring the safety kind of down in the box, both safeties. And the reason why I like to do that is because if there's any kind of tight end streak or there's any kind of motion over glitch, um, this is going to help a lot. Then all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line, we're going to crash our defensive line down a couple times. And then I like to actually go ahead and click on to Dave, Levante David here, the right side backer, and put him right over the center or right down here, depending on your comfort level. If you want to you know, be a little bit better against the run, you might want to stand right here. And in my opinion, a little bit better against the pass, you're going to stand right here. Okay. And I'm going to put him on a blitz. And then I'm going to take the defensive end on the right side of the screen, and I'm going to put him in a bluff blitz. So you're going to see this is what the play art is going to look like, as you can see. This is kind of what we've created. Now, what I like to do on the left side, really, really, really important, is I like to go ahead and put that square uh, corner into a cloud flat. And the reason why I like to put him in a cloud flat, you actually have to hot route him to a cloud flat. You can't shade coverage up. It won't work right. But what I like, the reason I like to do that is because that's gonna take away any corner route to the left side. A lot of uh, U-trips is to take the solo, basically to take the solo receiver right here get slot apprentice on him and do something along these lines. So, and then the last kind of step that I'll take is I'll actually man the running back up with that linebacker that's over the center. So you'll see here, this is kind of what the player will look like post pre-snap. And then, you know, they're gonna do these corner routes and things. And what you're gonna see is this cloud flat's not gonna allow them to do that. You're gonna get picks every single time. Whether they, you know, in a lot of different avenues, you're gonna get a really good defense against this. Now, the other reason why I like the cloud flat over the soft squat, specifically against um, U-trips, because I don't do this against everything, but U-trips, I will definitely do this, is because of the jam that you're gonna get on this left side player. So you're gonna see here, kind of set the coverage up, it looks like this. And what you'll see is we're gonna get this nice jam on that seat receiver. So let's say he runs a fade route, you're gonna see we get this nice little jam. Now they try to throw it, and now the safety has a ton of time to be able to get over there and make a play on the ball. So another really big time reason why I love the cloud flat adjustment. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the better ways to play this cover six. Now the, the one thing I do wanna go over is one of the most popular things that people will do is they'll use this post route. So the, typically this is kind of a, a, you know, a basic setup you're gonna see a lot. You'll see something like this basically with a tight end out. And what you're gonna notice whenever you run this cover six is whenever you put this tight end on, or that defensive end on the, the tight end side on a three rack, take a look at how this is gonna play. You're gonna see that he's gonna go with the tight end over there and he's gonna make a tackle for you know two to three yards. 
So it's not super, super open. I mean, it is open, but if that's a linebacker there, you know, you, you're going to have some success uh, defensively. The other thing is because we have so much, um, we have such good coverage to the, to the uh, two receiver side here. What we can do is at the snap of the ball, we can actually feel free to essentially come back into coverage right in this middle of the field. And we're just looking for any post route. If we see a post route, that's what we're covering. Um, that's pretty much what this defense is gonna be vulnerable to. So we're gonna take that away. The other reason why I love this defense so much is because again, and again, this is why I really recommend bringing these guys down against these spread, spread out type of formations. It really does help them play better coverage in my opinion. But what you're going to see is if they run some kind of corner route or something to the right side, you're going to have that match coverage going over there, and you're going to be able to take away a corner route with probably pretty simple, I mean, pretty simple uh, way to stop a corner route, in my opinion. But as you can see, you're, you're able to take away the corner. Okay, so really the number one route that you have to worry about is indeed the tight end. A couple things you can do out of this if you want to is you could go ahead and you could actually just decide that you're going to use or this guy if you wanted to and kind of basically take the running back routes away yourself so whatever route the running back goes on if he goes on like a wheel route or something your job is to take that away so what you can now this frees you up to drop a hard flat over there on that side of the field and now what you can do is really kind of take away this deep this tight end out route um, as you can see right there, we're able to kind of really take that away. One of the other things I want to go over just real quick with you um, is this, like something like this setup right here, kind of a flood, you know, pretty heavy flood to that side. So I just want to kind of go over that real quick. And what you're going to see here is this tight end vertical is going to take that inside quarter, but you see that the quarter flat will take the corner route. So we're going to be pretty solid against any kind of flood to the trip side, um, in my opinion. And then let's go over curl flats real quick. So if you do get someone that likes to run curl flats, uh, what you want to do is you can also take this linebacker in the middle and you can actually put him into a hook curl, which is one of my favorite little adjustments. You'll see that it's going to make him really do a good job of matching. And uh, as you can see right there, we're able to match the post. It's pretty much taken away. So, you know, really your number one, um, in my opinion, your number one thing that you have to watch out for uh, within this defense is the left side receiver or the solo receiver um, and the running back. Those are, to me are your two major things that you need to be prepared for. So if you have this kind of setup right here where you're taking away the running back route and you're taking away everything else, now all that's left for you to defend is that post route as you can see everything else is taken away pressure comes in which is what the beauty of the three to five odd is is that it has the best pressure in madden you can get pressure by only sending two three people at a time so very very good pressure out of this formation and this is the way that i like to kind of start a game out if i'm defending the u-trips and honestly u-trips like it does have some bombs against this but for the most part the cover six is going to be relatively safe cover four quarters cover four palms both of those coverages can find themselves getting bombed a lot out of this, but cover six seems to be kind of the winner in terms of the most bang for your buck in terms of safety, but also um, really good match defense. So if you want to get access to the full defensive guide, kind of learn a deep dive into the cover six defense, I'd encourage you to pick it up. The link is in the description below. You can get that defensive guide completely uh, all together for just 15 bucks. And again, what we do is we update that guide every single um, time that we need to. So if there's a new patch that comes out that changes the way zones work, we'll update the guide. If there's a new uh, patch that comes out that changes the way the blitzes work, we'll update the guide. If we find a new defense, if we find new coverage schemes, if we find new pressure, we'll update the guide as well for you. So it's a living guide. It's something that's gonna to continue to change and mold over time and very adaptable to your Madden 22 needs. So I'd encourage you to pick it up. Like I said, it's just 15 bucks. There's a link in the description down below. And uh, all you gotta do is head down there, hit that link, it'll take you right to my website and uh, we'll get you all squared away within five minutes of hitting that link. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna get that defensive guide, like I said, just hit that link in the description and we'll get that, we'll get that all squared away for you.